In this Vonza review video, I'm going to be giving you everything you want to know about Vonza and if it's even worth your money. Now, before we get started, if you have any questions whatsoever about Vonza, go ahead and drop them below. I tend to reply within a couple of hours. And if you are considering buying Vonza, I will go ahead and leave the best and latest discount link below for you. Vonza is a all-in-one platform for anyone who wants to make sales online. It will allow you to create and host courses as well as digital products, physical products, and it will let you build funnels as well as landing pages. It really is an all-in-one system, but the question is, is it actually an all-in-one system? So I'm going to show you everything you need to know about Vonza, and then hopefully by the end of this video, you'll know if this is the product for you or not. Let's start off with the dashboard. You have a snapshot of everything that goes on here from total paid users, net income, lifetime sales, and even new signups as well as orders. You can cater it according to date. And if we scroll down, it gives you a further breakdown of everything that's gone on inside this platform. You can accept payments using the stripe button here and you can even edit the dashboard by, by clicking the edit dashboard button and then filtering each one that you want to show or you don't. On the left, you have your main navigation from home, website, commerce, marketing, sales, people, and cloud. And then scrolling down, you have further, you have your further options where you can actually publish the platform. And if you ever get stuck, go ahead and click on the Vonza tour button and it gives you step-by-step -step videos on how to do everything. Let's start off with the website builder. It's gonna break down into three options. Click on builder, and it would have already pre-populated a template for you. However, this is really simple to use. So on the left, if you hover over these menus, you'll see it automatically scrolls down to the place it is. If you click on it, it will open up further options for you. If you want to change the text here, all you do is in the heading text, you'll just type in, courses for you then click and it will automatically update it and that's basically how simple it all is if you want to delete this section go ahead and click the delete block and then that will get rid of that for you if you want to add something click the add new and then it will have all of these options here. If you want further flexibility, click on elements and you can add your custom HTML or images. So let's go ahead and add that hero header back and you can upload your own stuff. So I'm just gonna quickly upload a random image on my desktop. Let's go with this one. Now you may have noticed it showed at the bottom of the screen, really simple to change. Go back, then you can drag that to the top and there you have it, you've got it right there. You can do further customization by clicking settings and you can change the title and the URL. Or if you wanna change the default coloring, you can do so in this section here, as well as your logo and your favicon and all of that stuff. And it also has a responsive editor, so you can see what it looks like on your mobile. When you're ready to view it, go ahead and go to website. And this is the live version of the website. If you wanna add a page, click add page and then do Save. This will now take you to the new page where all of that information is present and you can start adding all your elements to the page. Moving on to the navigation area of the website. This is where you can decide if you want to enable or disable, grab a specific URL for the page or even modify the information like where it's going to go, the name of the menu, if you want to open it in a new tab, if it's visible or just visible for in users, and you can rearrange them by dragging them. You've also got quick access to the footer area, which again, you can do the exact same in the header. Next is the domain. You can add a custom domain or you can change your subdomain right here. Moving on to the courses section. The course section is actually really cool. You would simply add a course enter the information and then click save. It will automatically open up that course for you. And now there's further navigation, such as the, the curriculum, pricing, customers, quiz, assignments, certificates, and sales. You can assign instructors, add them into categories, which you can also create standard here and decide if after they've purchased, they go to a custom URL that you put in or just let the platform do its thing. When you're happy, click save. In the branding, you can upload your own logos. You can even crop them make them circle or rotate them okay, and then click upload. If you have a cover image, click on cover. And again, I'm just gonna take a random picture and then upload. 
and if you've got a promo video which at the moment I don't but if you do you could upload it as well next go to SEO this is where you can add your meta info then if we move to curriculum we can add our sections so let's just say the basics you could you've got three more options which is add lessons quizzes and assignments so let's go ahead and do a new lesson and what's really nice is that you can create lessons in bulk and then go ahead and do save and now you can see we have three options here where we can actually add the contents into each one. So now just before we go into it, you can see we have further options here. This will allow people to have a preview of the lesson before they purchase. You can make it downloadable for your students. You can modify the lesson, duplicate and delete it. Let's go ahead and modify it. You have three further options. You can add custom files. So let's go ahead and just add a random file. You can add custom text and you can even hyperlink the text and change the color if you want to. Then when it comes to embedding, now when we preview in test mode, you can see we have the file we uploaded, the title and the video right here. And then we've got the other lessons we've yet to populate, but you can switch them like so. If you want to rearrange, you can do just by dragging and dropping it like so and then do preview and test mode again. And there you have it. This is where you say how much the course is gonna cost or so one time purchase is just a one off buy. Then you've got the reoccurring, so you can decide if you want it weekly, monthly or yearly. And then you can even enable, enable fixed number of payments and the price, the payment plan. Or if you wanna offer it as free, you can do like so. And they offer two more options, which is installments plan and flexible payments. On the right, you can actually do lots of different tier pricing and it will show all of the different pricing options here. You can also enable drip mode which will which will give them all the training or the material over a specified point of time. In the customers area this will show all the customers you have. You can also email course, you can also email the course material to your subscribers or even enroll a customer manually. Next you can add quizzes. So let's go ahead and do new quiz. Quiz name, let's enter your question. Enter your options and you can even have it graded. Now let's open it in preview mode and you can see here's the quiz and then do finish. Okay and then once people start filling out the quiz it will show you the percentages and see what people are saying. You can issue certificates on this by clicking the create certificate. It will open up this designer and then you can design it however you deem fit and use one of the two templates they offer. Finally, in the sales area, this will list all the specific sales about this actual course. When you're done, go ahead and click publish course and then click the links with the copy link and then we can paste it in. And this is actually a shareable link where it will have all of the basics and all the course material that you want. Next, we have memberships. So it will list all the customers and also all the sales for this specific membership. Go ahead and click add membership. Now I've already created a membership just so I can speed up the video a bit for you, but let's have a look. Edit, and then if we go into tiers, you can divide them up into tiers like this, add sections, pricing plans, further details. Next, if you have digital products or even physical products, this is where you'd list them. So if we enter into one of them, got all of the basic information you'll fill out followed by the additional details like the warranty, the size, the uh, return policies, and of course SEO. Then you put in your shipping requirements here. So the highlights of the product, followed by the images. You can even manage the stock with a special price, normal price or quantity based, and then it will list all of your customers. You can also do email product to customers. And this is where all of the orders for the entire commerce will will be listed in one place for you. Next, you have the marketing section. This is where you can compose emails and then it will list in the inbox sent, trash and trash. And this will list all of your contacts. Now you can import contacts via CSV and even add labels so you can categorize your contacts further. If you're not sure about the CSV template, you can go ahead and download the template. And this is what the template will look like for you to import CSV documents. Next, you have your funnel area. So you can start off by building a funnel by clicking build a new funnel and you can decide what sort of funnel you want. So we're going to go ahead and do a course funnel and then do course and then do save. So this will show you what's going on inside. And if you want to add stuff, just go ahead and click on one of these elements and it will tell you if it's if it already exists or if it doesn't, it will add it to the page. To add automations, click on the automation tab and then do new automation enter what the automation is going to be called, followed by the action, then the label, and then how soon after you want something to be sent. So let's just say send immediately, and then 
enter the message, and then do save. And now that automation's been set, so whenever someone goes to this step and then becomes a lead, it will then automate the rest. Here it will list all the sales again, and then all the customers, and this is specifically to the marketing area. If you want to edit any of these, just go ahead and click on the page. It will give you all the basic information, and then do customize. And then you're back to the builder where you can start customizing on the left. And this is the same for all the other funnels. Next we have forms. This is what the basic form will look like. Very similar to Google Forms. And if you want to edit or add a new, you'll just come into this area and you can customize it accordingly. If you want to include a pricing in your forms, you can do so here with all the other, with all the pricing features they offer. This is where all the responses will be collected and it will even give you a summary in this area. And if you want to export them all, you can do, which will export it into a CSV document. If you book meetings with people, you can actually create meetings here. You can customize the options for the duration, the meeting link specifically etc and then do next you can put in the price if you desire i'm going to make this one free then you can publish the meeting copy the link and now you've got a fully powered meeting fill out enter the details and then they'll schedule the meeting under the sales tab you have further elaboration of all the analytics statements payouts reserves and a breakdown of everything. And if you wanna add manual payments, you can do by clicking the add manual payment section and at coupons, you can add coupons like so. Give it to a client or free promotion and it will do the rest. The people section is kind of like your CRM. This is where all your customers, invitees will be. And again, all your contacts as well. You can even import them here. It's also got cloud storage. So if you wanna do a new folder, uh, let's just say documents, save then inside the documents you can upload files so let's just go with this one upload and now you've got your file there you can share those files with people which will open up the email or just a general link and now you can see anyone has access to that link in the settings area you can add more admins if you decide just by filling out their details here and they also have a quick search option here where you can click on one and it will instantly take you to where you want to be i do hope you've enjoyed this vonza review video my thoughts on this is that it's actually so close to being one of the perfect all-in-one solutions. The price is a little high, but then again, there's actually not much on the market that isn't super module based and is pretty slow and glitchy. So Vonza actually does a really good job of centralizing everything whilst maintaining speed and necessity with what we actually need. Considering it's got some really powerful features like the meeting scheduler, the web builder, and a pretty simplistic course manager, I would say they're doing a really good job. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.